Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One Compares, where we take a look at Capture One and Lightroom and one particular feature and try to see what kind of differences there might be between them. And today we're taking a look at masking objects. And we want to take a look at masking a particular subject and how that works and if we need to alter that mask looking at the way that objects kind of interact. And there's some aspects of the way that generating a mask around a subject work with Capture One that I really like and I kind of wish was in Lightroom. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at part of the object tool in Lightroom from a recent update and wish that that was inside of Capture One. So here we go. So here we have an image of a bald eagle from a Birds of Prey workshop that I'm part of this teaching staff for. And here I have the same image inside of Lightroom. And we are going to do a basic subject mask of both of these and see that the algorithms definitely do work differently. So I'm just going to click on the subject mask with no alteration in the auto processing. In Capture One, it's M to see the mask. And it does a pretty good job with the exception of some of the tail feathers there and of course the talons there. But we get the edge of the wings here pretty well. Now that's going to be a little bit different here inside of Lightroom. And we're going to find that neither of these is going to do this perfectly. And that's fine. That happens all the time. Just do a basic subject mask. And here we actually get more of the talons, miss the tail feathers, add some of the branch and miss out on the wings here. So both times we have the AI masking that is imperfect and that is fine. We expect that. That's no big deal. And it is, it is interesting that it works slightly differently. What I want to take a look at is adding and subtract using objects. All right. If I want to add portions of the mask here, there are a couple ways, of course, that I could do it. I could come up to add and I could, of course, try to brush, but I want to take a look at adding through sections or objects here. I'm going to grab the objects tool, which is pretty great. I've been able to use this to identify things inside of the scene before, and that works really well. Change the brackets uh, in order to change the size and I can add that, which is great. You have to come back to add for another object and I'd be able to add that back in so I can absolutely go through and add here. I could use a subtract with an object here but I could also do a brush and it would work but we're taking a look at objects today so I'm going to subtract using an object and try to identify this whole object for Lightroom to see and it's going to identify it but kind of imperfectly come down here and we're definitely missing parts of this branch being subtracted from the mask. Okay, now how does that compare to Capture One, all right? Well, in Capture One we actually have, and I think it's really clever the way that it works, we have the AI brushing tool and it identifies, pop that back into here, parts of the frame. So I can actually hover over and it tries to find similar pixels, even finding ones separated by other parts of the mask. So I could add there, add there, add the feet, or the talons rather, add the talons. And I'm feeling pretty good. I find that to be a very easy system. So it finds sections of objects automatically. I wish there was a feature like that inside of Lightroom. And there's really not in the same way. Yes, we could do something based on like a color range or a luma range, but not based on finding the object in quite the same way. So if this type of capacity to just basically hover over and find part of an object and auto highlight it was part of Lightroom, I think that would fill out and kind of complete the masking in Lightroom that traditionally we would say has been better right? They got to subject masking first. They got to sky masking first. They got to individual people and parts of people first. And a lot of those work great. And there is no corollary inside of Capture One. But this portion of finding objects is a little bit clunkier inside of Lightroom. But now let's take a look at trying to get rid of the Jesses that are here. We want to remove these from the scene. All right. Well, how are we going to do that? Inside of Capture One, we don't have a great option other than either just cloning or healing, right? And that's really not great. I don't love that as a system. So we're going to kind of come in here and try to find the easiest way to remove these, right? So I'm going to come in and of course I can change the size of a brush and we would have to do the old standby of finding 
a similar set of pixels with a healing brush and try to see how well that works. And it certainly can work okay, right? That, that worked out pretty well. But there's something new inside of Lightroom that is connected to this video that is even easier. So this worked all right, I would be happy with that. But if I wanna do the same work here, what I would wanna do is the new Generative AI and Object Aware Removal Tool. So we're gonna come in, do the exact same thing. All right, um, I'm gonna change my zoom to about 50%. And this is going to actually find the object itself for removal right? And we're going to apply that. It figures out the shape of the object and uses content aware to fill in the space and remove the object being deleted. And one thing I want to point out that it does really well, notice that I actually highlighted part of this tree branch here. It filled in the tree branch itself. Really incredible uh, what it was able to do. I'm going to do the same thing here and it's gonna find that object. We're going to apply. And look at what it did here. I wanna point out, it rebuilt the tail feathers in the background and rebuilt part of the tree limb here that were part of the area I brushed over. That is really incredible. So the actual object aware technology exists for Lightroom. It's just inside of the removal tool. All right, if I wanted to use that same object aware capacity, they could build it, but they haven't yet. So I would say object aware for removal is better in Lightroom, but object aware for adding to or subtracting from a mask, I would actually say those small pieces are better in Capture One. So anyway, that's kind of some object aware uh, observations between the two softwares. Obviously, I'm able to get the same job done in both actually really effectively. All right, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.